there's been a call of uh, other things are here. Where the, 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 I don't know if the cabinet has been dissolved or stuff like that. That is like putting balm on a wound. What we demand, or what I personally think is ready to happen, is that the entire Kenya Kwanzaa administration, led by Mr. Ruto, must vacate power. The call that Ruto must go is not an idle call. It's a call whose time has come. It's a call whose time has come. Ru Mr. Ruto told us that criminals were on the streets. He has not produced a single criminal. You cannot be told S lies every day. Senator Omtata. Yes, Mr. Speaker. Just obvious yet. I made myself very clear on how we are going to conduct ourselves during debate on this motion. In as much as we suspended points of order, I said, let us be responsible in the way we debate and let us be factual. You cannot call the president Mr. Ruto. This is not a Kamkunji. This is the Senate of the Republic of Kenya. Proceed. Okay, I can call him Dr. Ruto. And, Senator, pres and Dr. President Ruto. I'm finishing Dr. Ruto. His Excellency, the president. Proceed. But he never ceased being a minister, so all those titles are called, are, are, apply to him. If my English is correct. So I'm demanding that President Ruto vacates office as the most, only honorable thing to do. He's unable to balance a budget. It has collapsed. Everything around him is collapsing. He's, uh, so you cannot say that his juniors should bear the burden. The ball stops with him. And the call that President Ruto must go is a call that must be applied. And as they say, a fish begins rotting with the head. So, and in my, among my people they say, a river does not flow higher than its source. And when you look at the sun, you must blink. Justice is crying out. Our children have died. Something that has never happened in this country. The president has called them criminals. And the president cannot continue sitting in power when the children have died. And he said you do anything at whatever cost. When the constitution says you can't do anything at whatever cost. So my call is to associate my voice with those who are saying that the president vacates office. There's no room for all these things we are doing here, and we start off with a new, a new slate. Mr. Speaker, sir, anything less than that will not avenge the blood that has been spilled on our streets. A street that is hallowed, a street that is recognized in the Constitution as an arena for engaging politically. As the arena whereby when this institution fails, the people of Kenya invoke Article 1 and go to engage. When you desecrate such a venue, you don't do anything. There's not even a call that these things should be investigated. Instead, they are trying to say that we go and have dialogue to assuage, to see how, don't know how to distort what is happening, to do whatever, to see how. I just look at these people like prison guards who are fighting for who becomes the chief warden. Then they learn that there's a, there's a prison break. So they all forget about what they are fighting for. They say the first thing we must do is to ensure that this prison is not destroyed because their business is the prison. Their business is to keep the people in the prison. So they are now coalescing, forgetting about the fight they were having, who becomes the chief warden. Now they are saying the prison must be kept intact. We are not going to allow that. This country has moved. 
the government that has to govern this country must govern by law. And Mr. Speaker, sir, I reiterate my words that if really the president values this country, he should do the honorable thing, fall on his sword. President Ruto, fall on your sword and retain if you have to retain in order. And retain in order. Well, one minute, you wind up your thoughts, uh, Senator Mtato. Just one minute. Mr. Speaker, thank you. What, what, I was, what I was saying is that, like in the old days of the Roman soldiers, when they felt that they had brought this honor to the country, and they were even, the dishonor was so bad that they could not even let another person kill them, they fell on their swords and died. That's the only way they regained their honor. And the only way, way Ruto can regain an honor is for him to fall on his sword and let the Kenya Kwanzaa administration die so that Kenya can have a new beginning. With those few remarks, Mr. Speaker, sir, I thank you.